We're going to do the meat for the yeah, longaniza. Yeah, 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 yeah. For the longaniza. Yeah. I have no idea what I'm doing, so I'm starting this. ¿Qué se hace? ¿Se prende primero o no? No, porque hay carne. No, prende va. Prende la primero.
this is the meat. It, it ends up being like a 70, like a 70, 30. That's what I would, I would suggest to that, like a 70, 30. 70% lean to 30% fat. Do you want the marbling effect? I think it, it does it does it wonders. And so this is step one. So we used Boston butt. Um, that's what we used. So in here we have about 17 pounds, between 16 and 17 pounds of Boston butt. Pork um, is a, a, a cut of pork that does not have a bone. It is about a 70-30. So 70% lean to 30% fat, give or take. We're adding some curcuma. Um, curcuma. Turmeric. So turmeric, curcuma. A little bit, uh, a little bit. That's about a tablespoon's worth, a heaping tablespoon. Comino. Cumin. So she's adding about uh, two tablespoons, give or take, of cumin. Black pepper. Black pepper. About a tablespoon. And oregano. This is This is oregano from my mama's garden. This is extra that we're adding so oregano. So she added about a tablespoon of oregano. But she also made a sofrito. A más que hay en el sofrito? And this sofrito is a different type of sofrito. This has achote, right? Achote, anaro. Anaro with achote, which is you make an achote oil. So I take um, cilantro. Um, lo, um, recao, which is like a flat leaf cilantro. Este, ajo, mucho. Uh, a lot of garlic. Okay, ma. Oil. So she will add spice to this, but not yet because she needs to separate the one that does not have spice, anything spicy in it. So this is what this is. Okay, so now let me wash my hands because I'm going to do this by hand. So we're just going to mix everything together, and I know you guys are far. But we'll do it just like that, and hopefully you guys, ya huele, ya huele. you guys can see it. Let me see if I can get you guys closer. Oh, that's too close. Okay, right there. So, so let me wash my hands really quickly. And I'm gonna go and let me not give you guys my back. So I'm gonna go home with my hands and simply mix this meat with this stuff and you're gonna get your hands dirty you can't do this with a with a with, with a machine or with a with a spoon you gotta do this with your hands because you need to get it mixed in my esto no lleva sal ma so, right now I'm just mixing the sofrito in with the meat. And she's going to add. She's gonna, okay, she's going to add salt. In the, it's a lot of meat, so you want to add enough salt. That's about a third of a cup of salt. And you want to try to distribute it really well. We're going to add a little bit of achote oil. So a little bit of achote oil. You, this is going to give it the color that longaniza or that sausage called longaniza have. See. Then we have my mother's secret, which, which for you guys, I will leave it. I will leave it in the comments below. If she doesn't mention it, or better yet, if she doesn't mention it, you can hit me up and I'll tell you what it is. 
falta más aceite. Dame que ya voy yo toda. ¿En qué hago ya? Sí. ¿Qué más hago aquí? ¿Lo venía hasta la venete? Estoy veniendo. Ya está. Yo me lo voy a usar con no sé cómo te haga lo tuyo. Ya no sé cómo lo tengo. Ay, deja ver cómo está esa. It still needs more salt. Okay, so the secret is in here. And, and you can add some um, basil to this. I kind of forgot. She has oregano in here, but this is a fresh oregano. So um, the fresh oregano differs from the dry one. The dry one's a little bit more potent, but the fresh one gives it that, that beautiful. Yeah. Para probarlo, vamos a hacer la barra de dos, a mano, la lenta, lo, lo, lo de esto lo voy a después. So I'm going to taste this, so I'm going to wash my hands again. I'm not going to swallow this, but I will be tasting just to see how it, um, if it's salty enough. So, literally, don't try this at home, but this is the way we learn. It's just to put your finger in and taste it. I don't like raw meat. You love raw meat, yeah? Let me do this again. Hold on. Okay, so she added just a little bit more salt. We're doing this in my mom's back port, car port. It's a little easier. And it's not as hot as it is inside the house. So. And this video will be long, so just try to bear with me. I'll set it. And I'll show you what it looks like. So this is what the meat looks like for the sausages. So she's using synthetic um, casing. So these are not natural casing. These are synthetic. So she has them frozen. So what she's doing is untangling them. They are salt cured. So these all that all that you see there is the salt. So what she's doing is that she's measuring out more or less how long she wants these. And she's going to cut them before she washes these. You see all that salt needs to come out. Tú la vas a cortar, no? Sí, yes. Yeah. So sí. she's cutting them towards where she wants it. So these are synthetic so that's what ah, she's doing there so, she's gonna divide them in two and so we're gonna wash these and then next video you're gonna see or the next step you're gonna see it in a second so she is rinsing them out taking all that salt out of them and what she'll do is she'll open them and put them through there so that way the inside gets cold. And this is synthetic, but she's trying to get all the salt out of it. She puts it in a different pot. So again, she'll open it and put it in the thing and let that fill with water. And what that will do is remove the salt from the inside. And she's gonna do that with the rest of them.
So this is the machine that they use to, for the casing. And so my dad is putting in the, the meat mixture in there. And... So he's just filling in the, the mixture. Everything is ready. The uh, casings are washed. And we're going to get started. My mother grabs a casing that she just washed. And you see it's still wet. And she puts it directly on there. It's a long casing. So be careful you don't break it. So she's holding on one end. And putting it on the... And I'm sorry that this video is going to be super long. So at this point, she's removing the air. And while my dad is it's hitting, she, he's cranking it. He's cranking it. So you see already. So again, she's continuing. I'll show you once she is done with this one. Okay. So this is one longaniza made. It's like a it's sausage. It's it's sausage done my mom's way. Better taste, of course. Um, it's a Puerto Rican thing. So. What she's going to do is that she is going to um, try to measure out to see how long she wants to make each sausage. So right now you have a super long one. So she's going to make two out of this. So she is going to twist it on the one end where she wants this done. And where she is cut, she's twisting, she is going to simply tie it with a kitchen twine. And that's it. She's cut, she's putting a piece of twine on both ends because she doesn't want to leave one end. So this will be one sausage on one side and one sausage on the other. So she wants to make sure that both ends are cut, are, are tied. And then she cuts it to make two separate ones. So there you will see one. And she'll get the other one. And we'll continue this process until we're done with all the, the sausage. And then she'll smoke them. But I'll show you that next. This is my mom's smoker. So if you can tell here, they put the, the whatever, the fire burning thing. And then here she'll put the longanizas. And she's had them down for about 10 minutes, and now she's giving them a quick little turn. Um, the ones that have the uh, little green thing marked, those are spicy. The other ones are not. So the ones that are spicy, she added um, a homemade spice that she does with um, these little piques that they call them. ¿Cómo que se llama? Ajice. Ajice cuál? Picante. Sí, pero tú le diste el nombre. So they call caballeros because they, they, they are very spicy, but if they, gentlemen, because they're supposed to be very spicy, but if you're a gentleman, you're not supposed to be spicy. So, so in here, and, and she'll cover them. So she'll cover them with the big lid up there. And it has it that's a good for so okay she covers it and it has like a little chimney thing up top that the smoke comes out of so she'll keep it in here como dos horas como dos horas about two hours give or take yeah okay so the longanizas are done. We're removing these first, which are the ones that are spicy. And we're simply putting them in a in a bowl that my mother's got. Look how beautiful. These are absolutely beautiful. Um, 
esa cadena molestarse parte y para hacerla para enseñarla. Porque sale so, la cadena. Another one, spicy. You can tell they're juicy so they're not dry. They're a little picky. Ahora te, ahí te ven mejor. Ahí se ve empañado. More in here. These are the spicy. I'll show you guys in a second what it looks like at the end. And I think that's it. There's some more spicy. So these are the regular ones. These are beautiful. Now, if anybody's interested, I will be selling some of these, not these. But we will be selling them, making them out of New York. Yeah, the delivery. But here in Puerto Rico, let you know right now, if anybody's interested, my mother lives in Cerro Gordo de Moca. And she sells these between six, seven, depending, uh, between six and eight dollars a pound. De seis a ocho dólares la libra. So, dependiendo de cómo ella compra la carne, si la carne está más cara, depende el precio que te la vaya a dar. Pero, por lo que ven, es mucho trabajo. So, if anybody, if you guys are visiting Puerto Rico, and you want some longaniza to bring with you, hit me up. Hit me up, and I will give you my mother's information. I will give you my mother's information, and she will, she will make them fresh, because she makes them fresh. She doesn't keep them around. She'll make some now, freeze them, so whenever people are picking picking them up, you have to say, look how beautiful. Um, so this is what 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 normal what normally we will do. Um, now what we're gonna do is well, I'll show you what I'm doing next. Apaga el video and I'll show you in a minute. So this is how they come. She'll sell them inside the baggies. She'll weigh them out here. This is here is two pounds of longanisa. Okay, so this is the longanisa. This one here is going to New York with me. So is this, this is my sister's right here. I have spicy, my sister non-spicy, and then the rest are for sale. So we have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13 pounds. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13, 13 pounds of longaniza. And, and, and I want you to see that out of this, you saw all the time, this is an all day event. This is why it's so expensive. But you don't just get anything, you get quality. Anyways, but thanks for watching. Thanks for spending time here at my mother's backyard here in Moca, Puerto Rico. And I will see you guys on the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, Hit the like button, leave me a comment, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. And that way when I put up a video, you guys get it first. I will talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.